Right, hello there, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Hello there. What is up, please? It is your boy, it is. It's JP, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2 online. Yes, my PS4 is letting me play for longer than 10 minutes, so therefore, a recording can be made. So, yes, welcome. We are going to be doing, of course, another horse video today. But first things first, I just want to quickly say, if you were in my Jurassic Outlaws posse and you've recently noticed that you have been removed, it's not because I don't want you in there or I don't like you anymore, it's because I just feel like it's a big waste of your time because, as you know, my PS4 is having issues, technical issues with staying connected to the internet and I don't want you joining thinking we can play and I disconnect every 10 minutes. So I thought I'd save you the bother and remove you, so it would just be me for now. And hopefully I can get back to streaming and hopefully get all you guys back in the posse. But anywho, what is today's video about? Well, <clears throat> it is my personal top 5 favourite multi-class horses in Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. Or aka the best multi-class horses that I feel you should purchase or consider purchasing if you're a new player or maybe someone who wants to replace an Arabian like Big Ed here who uh, me and my girlfriend love to abuse constantly, but that's a whole different video for another day, and I don't want any uh, pitter on me. So anywho, let's get going. So what's going to happen, technically, I'm going to go from number 5 to number 1. Number 5 does not mean number 5 is the worst, it's just number 5, and so on and so forth. We're going to list out the pricing, and why I personally have chosen this horse, uh, or that horse in particular, as being one of the best multi-class uh, in the game. Now, multi-class is classed as probably one of the best classes in the game so far. I think, I think, other than superior, which is just Arabian, but uh, I don't think it is. Uh, but um, yeah, so obviously this is going to be my personal opinion. So please leave down in the comment section down below what is your guys' favorite um, horse in the game. Is it a multi-class horse? Is it a work horse? Either way, let me know down below. I'd love to find out. But anyway, before we do get started, as of recording this video, this week, every multi-class horse is on sale. So uh, if you're looking to purchase one of these guys, I'd recommend highly uh, Norfolk Roaster by now. But um, uh, yeah, on sale this week. Go ahead, as they're cheap, buy them now because uh, obviously they'll go back to an original price, but I would say original pricing for probably all of these horses is worth it. So, uh, if you want them cheaper, buy them now. But anywho, let's get on with the uh, with the top five. So number five, or oh, coming in, or oh, starting us off, is the Missouri Fox Trotter. Now, um, we'll discuss stats as you can see at level four bonding. Please remember level four bonding. We have eight health and nine stam. So pretty decent in the uh, stat department as you can see speed and acceleration I won't go through that because you already know that by now uh, I think on screen will show up the pricing I believe this one is 45 gold bars but they do range between the other uh, not North Roasters the other Missouri Fox Roasters do range from 900 to a thousand dollar dues so be in mind if you're wanting to purchase a Missouri you're gonna need the cash but um, the reason why I've selected is the Missouri as being one of the best multi classes it's just for me it feels like an all-round good horse. It's a good all-rounder, essentially. Uh, it's not that horse that you go, you can pinpoint a specific area which it's good at. You can't just go, oh, it's good at fighting. It's good at, you know, legendary animals. It's good at, I don't know, killing people. I don't think horses can kill people unless you run them over. But um, all-rounder for me. It, you can go into, you know, a moonshiner. You can do a trade sale with the uh, Missouri. Uh, legendaries, I haven't done too many with the Missouris, just because I feel that it's a little bit too skittish for that. But, you know, get fighting against griefers, doing, like, bounties. This is an all-round good horse. You, you can't really fault it. And, of course, it is in story, so I believe people have brought that knowledge from what they've known from story to online. And, generally, the Missouri is probably one of the best in the game. So, uh, yeah, recommend the Missouri at number five. But at number four, there it is. The Arabian Killer. The Carrillo, a.k.a. Malcolm here. Uh, my girlfriend uses uh, the Carrillo quite a lot. Her Rio is a gorgeous boy. Anywho, the Carrillo. Now, I've already stated why I believe the Carrillo is one of the best multi-class horses. It is the Arabian Killer. And people are like, oh, 
what do you mean? Well, this guy absolutely demolishes Arabians. It's quicker. I've done multiple races against uh, Carrillo versus an Arabian, and my Carrillo smashes the Arabian. So I just love that. Ho love the Carrillo because it beats the Arabian. I think the Arabian's overpowered. But anywho, uh, this guy is a roll horse. So if you are looking to purchase it, you will have to unlock a roll and get the Pacific uh, rank, which is rank 20 for this coat specifically. Uh, as you can see, health and stand we're looking at the same. As the Missouri Fox Trial and the same speed and acceleration, the storm, the heavens have opened. Oh my. But uh, I believe this guy costs $950, but then obviously you got to add that 125 horse insurance. But an all around, if you're looking for a horse to just beat an Arabian and replace an Arabian, this is the horse for you. Again, this guy, I specifically would say, is good for racing. If you don't do those uh, PvP races, this guy is probably one you may want to look out for. And obviously, I do generally feel it's a good horse. Again, gunfire, it's okay with bounties and stuff. So I do highly recommend the Carrillo or Corello. I don't know which how we want to pronounce it. Anywho, next one is the Tuckerman. Of course, the Tuckerman is my second favorite horse uh, in the game after... Um, we're not going to mention because it could be in this list. But anywho, this is the black one, uh, one of the new coats. Uh, the Tuckerman, again, has been in story for... God knows how long. So people have probably brought that knowledge again, like the Missouri, over to online. But uh, as you can see, level 4 bonding. We've got 10 health and 8 acceleration, or stamp, sorry. So uh, you're looking pretty good on the health. I do... Sp sp people say stats don't matter, but I say health really does matter. Just because, you know, when you're fighting griefers, they always want to kill your horse. Because I don't know why. But uh, it's always good to have a horse with 10 health. But... Uh, Yes, that's that's a tick in my book. Uh, speed and acceleration, you can see, reasonably good as well. But the reason why I'm picking the Tuckerman is because I love doing bounties with the Tuckerman. I don't know what it is. It just he just seems to get the job done. I don't know if it's because it's bigger Ed and he thinks he takes his name to his, being a big strong boy. But uh, he generally just feels non-skittish against gunfire. Now, a lot of people will say their Tuckermans are quite skittish. But for me, I I don't really notice the skittishness with the Tuckermans in particular. I'm essentially Big Ed because that's who I ride. Or Bigger Ed, that's because who I ride him a lot. But uh, again, I would say he does have his downsides. You know, unfortunately, he is not very good with legendary animals. He spooks constantly. But uh, around predators as well, he is really really good. Now the pricing of this guy is forty gold. Uh, but the Tuckermans do range from, I think, 925 to 975. So again, on the lower end compared to the Missouris, which are 900 to 1000. A little bit cheaper, so maybe that maybe spurs you want to buy one of these horses. Again, the coats as well. Haven't mentioned it in the past too. The coats are really good on all the uh, multi-class horses. But the Tuckerman, I kind of do like uh, quite a lot. But uh, who is next? Number two. Oh my, <laughs> the best horse in the game, and I don't want any Arabian lovers to say otherwise, it is the Norfolk Roaster. Yes, my Lenny here is the best horse in the game, the most beautifulest boy you'll ever see, and no one will change my mind on it. Uh, but Lenny here, as you can see at level 4 bonding, uh, you are looking at 7 health and 9 stam, so... Again, I did say look at health, but I don't really care about health. Look at him. He's beautiful. He's gorgeous. But um, he is a roll horse moonshiner roll, so you will have to obviously buy that roll. Well, not the rank to get him. But this guy costs $950 plus that 125 horse insurance. So, again, reasonably priced. But the reason why Lenny is probably the best horse in the game, the speed, the acceleration, and it's just the bravest horse. Now, a lot of people will say the Shy is the bravest. A lot of people will say, I think the Dutch Warmblood can be a brave horse. But Lenny is fearless. He, he doesn't care about anything. Yes, he has his moments, especially with Cougars, because for some reason in this game, any horse, if you're near a Cougar, it instantly books you. But Lenny, he's just... He goes into that bounty, he goes in with that uh, moonshine, and he just does it. He just, go. we go in, get the job done. He's a he's a better all-rounder than the Missouri Fox Trier. I just generally love the horse, I generally love the look of them, and you, you, how can you not say that? It's the cutest looking horse you've ever seen. Mwah, mwah, Lenny, mwah. I'm sorry, I'm fantasizing too much. Uh, but Norfolk Roaster, 100% you should have at least one of these in your Red Dead lifespan. If you do not ever own a Norfolk Roaster in your time playing Red Dead, there is something wrong with you. But uh, 
I'm joking, of course. You can own whatever horse you want. But I highly, highly recommend Norfolk Roadster. It's just probably the best all-round horse you can ever have for or ever wish for. And the final one, I believe at number... Is it number one? Is the Mustang. I know, probably a, a weird one. What people will say, why is the Mustang here? Why is a Mustang even considered a good horse? Well, let's say you're a new player. You've just got the game. And you're, you're starting to grind, you're starting to earn that money, and you're wanting a horse, but you can't get, you know, your Norfolk Roasters, you can't get the Carrillo, you can't get the um, the Tuckermans, the Missouris, because you're not the high enough level, and plus, it's way too much money to grind. This is where the uh, Mustang comes in. Uh, the Mustang only costs $500. Now, that's half of near enough every horse, and um, the gold one is only 20 but again, you, you know... Thinking about it, you're not going to grind for the 20 gold one. You're going to go for the 500 one. But then, look at the health and the stam. Maxed out at 10 and 10. As a low, low pleather, having a 10 and 10 horse, that's something that's going to prepare you for the, you know, the Tuckermans further down the line, the Norfolk Roasters, the Brentons and stuff. Um, XP and acceleration, somewhat decent as well, at default as well, because they're not going to have the natural, Nacho and the hooded stirrups as well. But... Again, for the pricing and what you receive on a, in a horse, it, it for new players, worth it. This horse is probably the best beginner horse you could wish for. Because um, it's going to help you. You know, you may be a low level, you're trying to grind, and you know, a big, bigger level player comes along and tries to grief you. You've got a horse that can withstand a couple more bullets than, say, the, uh, I think it's the standard breeds you get, or a Morgan. It will withstand more. And plus, the coats are pretty decent as well with the Mustang. But I generally do feel that this is probably one of the best beginner horses. And that's why you should really consider it probably one of the best multi-class. Because uh, this guy is kind of good. I would say with uh, legendary animals, I did try Stanley when I was bonding him uh, with a couple of legendary animals. And he didn't book as quickly as I thought he would. So legendary animals is probably his main strong point. But uh, I would say probably bounties as well. Uh, the Mustang really comes in. Uh, is a really good brave horse. But that is my uh, at least top five. I'm going to ride out with the beautiful boy Lenny. Because uh, he's just gorgeous. And no one can tell me otherwise. But uh, please leave in the comments. What do you think? Have I missed any horses? Should I replace, let's say, Missouri with Brenton? Or Gypsy Cobb should we replace in the Norfolk Roadster? Either way, let me know down in the comments. But I hope you enjoyed. As I normally say, please subscribe, like, or leave a dislike. Leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time it ever be a video. Hopefully I'll start streaming next week. But uh, until then, stay safe and have a great day.